Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And JK Rowling is gonna keep getting richer and richer mm -hmm. and richer. And she doesn't care. She doesn't care. She doesn't care about your feelings. Yeah, she put a tweet out yesterday talking about the Harry Potter reboot TV show on HBO Max. Of course, we've got activists saying they're gonna boycott it, and I'm sure they're gonna boycott it just as effectively as they uh, they boycotted Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah. To the tune of like $1.2 billion or whatever. Now, I don't know. I mean, it's possible, to be fair, that the show might not do as well as they expect because people, a lot of people feel like there, there's no need for the show. Yeah. We've already seen the movies. It's nothing new. Uh, if you read the books, the show, the movies weren't as it fleshed out, anywhere near as fleshed out as they could have been. But they've never seen pansexual black Harry Potter in a wheelchair before. I, I do think they're going to make some changes for uh, diversity and inclusion. So if you don't watch, they if they do boycott the show. They are um, complete uh, toxic fans who hate diversity. Um, everything they throw at us, people like us. Yeah, you can throw it back at them. But yeah, I, I think just the general public might not might not tune into it because they're going to be like, we already saw the movies. We'll we'll see. We'll see. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It could go either way. We don't know yet. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I thought I thought they already had a, a Harry Potter prequel. It was called the the Worst Witch. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Tim Curry. Man, he would have been if he wasn't such bad shape. He could have played Dumbledore. That would have been awesome. That Tim Curry as cool. Dumbledore would have been that would have been amazing. Especially when he shows off his heels. Yeah, I think you got There's it. your yeah. diversity inclusion right there. Yeah, you know, he just rolls up. And, see, we always wonder what was under his robe. We were looking at the action figure. We did. I wanted to know. Fishnet I did. Stockings I was going to buy him just to see what was under his robe. True story. Well, now, Harry. All right. So, uh, yeah, she put this tweet out. Dreadful news, which I feel duty bound to share. Activists in my mentions are trying to organize yet another boycott of my work. This time of the Harry Potter TV show, as forewarned is forearmed, I've taken the precaution of laying in a large stock of champagne. <laughs> womp, womp, I womp. And I think she, well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But she doesn't care. She doesn't care anymore, guys. She's ungodly rich. And you have actually given her more power with that idiotic boycott that backfired we're going to talk about this before we get into it. Any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. You'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Uh, last night, we kind of stealth launched another comics project. This is previously on Clownfish TV. This was supposed to be a web comic, but we're putting it on paper instead of the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, so th these are actually anecdotes and uh, strips based on some of the stuff we've said on this channel that we've completely forgotten about. But that's okay. Yeah, Jim, we did forget about it. Uh, Jim Wong has has uh, compiled them into comic strips, so we can never forget the so dumb many, things we've said. I was going through it. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot we said that. Oh yeah, I forgot we did that. <laughs> yeah, you forgot all about this. This was. I did. And he's even got the date, the date on here. So you can go find the original videos, probably. February nineteenth, twenty twenty one. You're ranting about something. I think it's Aquaman or yes, whatever. Yeah. By the way, it looks in the background. It was like the Aquaman show that was like Thundercats Roar. I don't remember what it was called don't care yeah but you were yelling about it so you said sorry I, you said sorry i yelled loudly and i, I said, probably did and i said that's okay i got the limiter on that's when you found out that there actually was a limiter i did not know there the was mic. there is a, a setting for me <laughs> so. i did have now it has changed because we've we've moved our studio but um i did have a setting on the mic that her side of the room, like if it would get too loud, she'd yell because it would blow out the mic. Then it would actually bring it down. And and she'd sound like all people are like, why is Geeky sound like a robot? And she'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's because the limiter was on. I'm sorry. But if he never told me that, or I could have made sure I never got to the point. Well, I didn't want I to tell like you that. Robot. Like I got to cap Well, no, because rant. you knew, you knew you cap in my rant and I'd be capping your ass and you yes, knew it. Yes, I did know that. And that's, I did and know that's that. why. Anyway, that's I just quietly of... tried to muzzle you and that wasn't, <laughs> that yeah. wasn't a good thing. Anyway, we've just launched it. There's a link in the description. It's on Indiegogo. Uh, it is coming your way. It's done. It's been done. It's just been kind of percolating. So, Let's talk about J.K. Rowling. That's what they're here for, not us. Yeah, they are. That is that. That's her. Yeah, it's, she looks very different now. Uh, this is coming from the Mail Online. J.K. Rowling mocks trans activists threatening to boycott her. This is. I love these headlines. They're like I know. <laughs> they're so long. They're J a paragraph. J.K. Rowling mocks trans activists threatening to boycott her new Harry Potter TV show. The 850 million pound author says she'll hit back by throwing parties. as both she has taken the precaution of laying a large stock of champagne. That is a... 
flipping long title. Copy that and use that as a title of the video. No, no, please, good love of God. Oh my God, uh, the new Lovely. Harry, the new Harry Potter series, which is, follows seven years in school, is going to take a decade. So we're going to mm -hmm. milk it. Uh, it was announced earlier this month. Some supporters of uh, trans rights say they will refuse to watch it. Well, so like, you know, yeah, that worked so great last time. Yeah, they even booed it when they announced it at the Game Awards of the most anticipated games of the year. It got booed. Everybody's like, oh, my God, this is going to be a disaster. It's I like, don't know. I really honestly don't know how the show's going to do because the Hogwarts Legacy was a, something people were waiting for and they were like, excited about it. It was something new. It was new characters, all that. I just don't know how the general public is going to do with the show when they have the movies and they might feel it's unnecessary and has nothing to do with the, the trans thing. But they're, they might just not tune in because they're like, why? Why? Ten years for why? You know I, what I mean? Be, but it has nothing to do with that. Even though they'll take it as a, look, we won. No, it, you didn't. It's just because the general public doesn't, you know. Yeah. Uh, after the announcement of the new TV series, one user said, friendly reminder, it's so easy to boycott Harry Potter. Like, so easy. Yeah, they told everybody they had to boycott it, and um, then they attempted to silence. So here's the thing. You can boycott anything you want to boycott. Like, you don't have to participate. If you don't like her and you don't like the things she's said, then you don't have to buy her game. You don't have to buy the wands. You don't have to go to theme parks. You don't have to watch the show, right? What you don't have a right to do is go dox and harass people for simply streaming the game, which is what some of these people were doing. And that actually backfired because of all the uh, faux outrage. You actually sold a lot more copies of the game. I can't tell you how many people came into our comments on Hogwarts Legacy videos and said they don't even care about Harry Potter. They, they don't care, but they were buying copies of the game just to stick it to right. the activists who were bullying people who bought the game. And mm. if the activists, and she needs to be thanking them, honestly, because if they hadn't kicked up such... Uh, a, a non-traversy, a tempest in a teapot, I don't think that they would have sold as many copies of Hogwarts Legacy. And I think people will tune into the TV show, even if it sucks, even if it's stupid, if if these activists ramp up the stupidity in the interim. Well, even about J.K. Rowling, they're, just, they're talking about, you know, how they're, how they're, they don't they don't want her to have a platform, but they're giving her the platform. Like, yeah. just don't follow her then. Just don't listen to what she says. Just, you know, ignore her and scroll past. The fact is, anytime she farts, they're on there screaming about it, and they just keep building her um, no notability more and more and more and more. They're, like, they're creating their own enemy. So sometimes in role-playing games... Uh, there are bosses that the more you physically attack them, the stronger they become. It turns out you got to use another method to, to fight mm -hmm. them. And that's basically what you're doing. If, if you think she is the end boss in your <laughs> little fantasy, <laughs> you're actually making her stronger and stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, the only thing that's going to make her go away is apathy. You've actually made her more popular now than she was a couple of years ago. Yes. Like her relevancy was declining. Harry Potter's relevancy was declining. Yeah, the theme park was there. Yeah, it was still popular, but Fantastic Beasts was not doing well. Uh, the books were done, and it seemed like Harry Potter kind of came and went, and now because you all kicked up a shitstorm, now everybody's talking about yeah, Harry Potter. Yeah, now the game sold really well. Now she's getting a new show. You did it to yourselves. And I think, and she's aware of that. I think she's yes. like, I'm going to have champagne and have a party. Yes. She's, she's well aware. And, and you guys are just playing right into it. So by all means, keep doing it, I guess. Uh, so here are some of the tweets. They do talk about you know Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint. I, I don't think Rupert Grint actually threw her under the wheels of the bus as much as Daniel Radcliffe, oh, no, for sure. I, you know, honestly, I don't pay attention to any of those people um, for the most part. And she wouldn't do the 20th anniversary. Now, people said that she wasn't invited. No, I think she was invited. If I remember correctly, she was invited. She chose not to do it. And I think she chose not to do it because she's probably like, I don't want to sit in the same room with people that are basically owe their careers to me and have to look them in the eye and be like, what the fuck, Daniel? You know, mm -hmm. like, what the actual hell are you doing? And, uh, you know, some uh, look, some stars have actually come to her defense. Uh, I know Robbie Coltrane, RIP, mm -hmm. did uh, Jim Broadbent did. He's like, he doesn't understand why they're trying to attack her so much. Um, but they're adults. Right. So anyway, here are some of the tweets. Fully expect you to you all of you to boycott the Harry Potter show. 
Friendly reminder, so easy to boycott. If y'all y'all really loved Harry Potter as much as you say you do, you do what Hermione Granger would do and boycott the corporation that's supporting a person who's advocating for oppression. Actually, you know what? You know who I've been seeing a lot of people who's been advocating for oppression a lot lately? The people that are mad at, at uh, J.K. Rowling. Because I've seen a lot of comments made about oppressing women um, over the, the, the over and it's only over in, in regards to transgender women for whatever reason. So, but I've seen a lot of comments that are anti woman and oppressing women, calling every woman a turf whether she agrees with you or not. So I don't want to hear one fucking thing about oppression, okay? Uh, Federica. I'm sure that's their real name. You can just shove your comments up your ass, Lady Multi Fandom. So yeah, um, there there actually was a comic book artist. Sorry, I'm just. There was a comic book artist, uh, like an actual comic book artist, who was publicly advocating to burn down the hotel where they were having um, what he called a turf conference. And I, th I think she was going to be there, but they also were going to have a lot of uh, Muslim women there talking about oppression. And, uh, and that got like all kinds of high fives. I guess the police got involved or something, but that's the mindset. Like it's totally cool to fantasize about and advocate for violence against people who don't agree with you, you know, because in their mind, she is literally killing people. Like right. every time well, she puts out a book or puts this out- This Kelly know. Rose just proved exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. For anyone concerned about the Harry Potter series, consider this. Non-turfs will boycott it. Because again, if you don't if you don't agree with everything they say, they just call you a turf. Um, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just, HP purists will boycott it because it's not our Harry. That is a possibility. Well, it's just what I'm saying. That is a possibility. Any actors willing to be in it will know that their reputations are at risk. So they're flat out saying, we're going to harass yeah. kids who are in the show. Same people who are pissed if you harass, you know, anybody else who think, you know, you're harassing Halle Bailey. You're harassing this person. You shouldn't be harassing Kelly Marie Tran. How very dare you? And then they're they're basically admitting that we're going to harass children. But, you know, they're, but, 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 they're, but it's about oppression, guys. Because, you know, everybody else is oppressing them. So bullshit. <laughs> this is gonna be really interesting. We said, unfortunately, unfortunately, the the level of insanity is going to lead to the kids that get cast getting attacked. I, I can almost guarantee it. I'm so tired of women being called turfs. Just anybody being called turfs, so they don't agree with every point they have. You know what? I'm gonna start throwing turfs the word turf back. Trans exclusive radicalized fucktard. There you go. I don't care if that gets me in trouble because I'm so tired of it. And I have absolutely nothing against trans people. Never have. What I do have a problem with is when you don't agree with everything that they, they demand, somehow you're a bad person. And I'm so tired of it because for years I've had friends that were trans didn't give a shit, but they didn't act like they, they and they still don't act like these people do. Yeah. Yeah. Now I don't think Rupert Grint threw uh, rolling under the bus per se. He just said that uh, trans women are women, trans men are men. We should all be entitled to live with in love with that's how we pretty much if you want to tell me that that's how you identify we are we've always been like okay you know whatever it doesn't it doesn't hurt us any so okay whatever but the problem isn't that it's now it's not only just you have to accept that you have to you know everything has to be about it that that's what i'm saying like I, i'm gonna be completely honest here i don't think hogwarts legacy would have sold as no well. so then there's like a tinfoil and i can't even load the comments or so many of them um then there's like a tinfoil hat conspiracy here like was this all to drum up interest in the game. Who the hell knows? I, I don't think so, but um, I, I really, truly don't think it would have sold because like I said, it, it seemed like there was a declining interest in Harry Potter stuff. People would have been like, oh, a Harry Potter RPG, whatever. It's single player. It wasn't even a multiplayer game. It was single player. And they would have been like, yeah, that's nice. It's about 10 years too late, but that's nice. And now she's getting a TV show. Again, I think she's the TV show is in limbo until they saw how Hogwarts Legacy went and then they saw it went very very well and they're like yeah hot damn let's let's yeah. do this let's do this so you did it to yourselves Agreed. absolutely um so keep it up she's gonna she's gonna keep popping popping the corks on the champagne bottles i guess, I yeah. guess. you better better clarify what she's popping anyway anyway we're gonna wrap it up yeah please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants we'll talk later bye help support the channel go to the reef dot support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's the reef.support.